So what happens when you change the oil in a car and then forget to change the oil filter? Uh, that's what we're about to find out. There's the oil filter. You can see it right there. It's orange. Uh, what we're going to do is take that off and hopefully not make a huge mess. But let's see. Got my oil pan here in another larger bin just in case we get any splashing. Hopefully we'll get most of it in here, but if not, we'll get it in the bin. This plant right here is going to make our job difficult, but that's okay. Huh. Second, second idea. Okay, so the bin is in place underneath. Everything's ready to go. Now we need to unscrew that oil filter, which is not the easiest thing in the world, so they make special tools for it. The reason that you're able to do this is because the oil pan, where the oil sits, is below where the oil filter is. If the oil filter were below the oil pan, all of the oil we put in the pan would just come out because of gravity. But that's not the case. The oil filter is above the oil pan, meaning that the only thing that should come out is the f oil that was already in the oil pan. The car was sitting for so long, I don't know if there's going to be any, but we have to be careful. If you go out on Amazon and look for strap wrench, this is probably what you'll end up with. two of them, that's nice. May need the small one. May need the big one. Okay, right in there you see a little tooth. And when I push this button up, the tooth becomes unengaged and I'm able to pull the strap. So I can get the strap the size that I need it. Which is going to be the size of the oil filter, which I'm going to have to get in here and try to guess. Yeah, we're going to have to come in from the bottom, I guess, or from the side. Radiator hose in the way. I'm not going to be able to do it from up here. Let's get on the ground. See, we have a number of problems under here. We have this guy in the way. So I may have to slide in next to this. Now, that's, that's just a recipe for a mess. Well, let me try it anyway. Here we go. And that's where it attaches to the engine. What's going to happen is I think it's just going to leak right here into this tray and come out this hole and then we're going to be in a problem. So let's orient this. So I'm going to do my best to orient this so it catches everything no matter what. And we're just going to have to hope for the best. Let me try to get you a shot that you can actually see what's going on. Okay, I've looped my tool around the oil filter. Now I will do my best to tighten it so that all of my force can be imparted to the wrench. Quite a lot of gymnastics going on. But that's okay. Now take this slow and steady. Uh, 
あのおはよう。Here we go. That looks pretty good. Oh, I'm I'm denting it. That's not that's not good. Oh, am I going the wrong way? That's embarrassing. Righty tidy lefty loosey. Oh, going the wrong way. It's okay. We don't make mistakes, just happy accidents. So we'll put this on the other way. You know, I'm curious if I can just like twist it off, but. My glasses <laughs> having all sorts of problems. Hold on. Strap came off. Glasses are being are being attacked by pieces of metal. I'm smelling oil. Which tells me I think we're getting somewhere, but you know. Oh, oh, something broke loose. Let me get my hand out of the way. Huh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yep, there we go. There we go. Let's let that get out. Everything's draining correctly. Yes, looks good. Like I said, not not very much, potentially. Okay. Oh, there's the rest. the other one on. Okay. Here's an oil filter. I guess it is the same size. I was worried it was not going to be the same size. I'm going to take a little bit of this used oil. I'm just going to get this in here. I don't have any oil since I already did it. I don't have any more oil right now to fill this up. Because normally what you would do is you would fill this with oil, but 
it's going to be okay because this is, this is mounted to the side anyway. I would not be able to even get the oil in there in the first place. Now all I'm going to do is thread this on. Oh, wrong way. Just thread this on. Give it one or two tightening turns. I'm not even going to use the strap wrench. I'm just going to use my hand. I can't really... I'm just going to tighten it by hand. There we go. And that should be good to go. Hey, that looks like I got a pretty good shot. Okay. Now, what I should do, and what I will do, is take a paint marker or whiteout, well, paint marker, and write the mileage on it so that the next person who changes it knows when it was changed last. Now, we have it on video, and this car is more of an experimental car for me to do experimental things to. So I'm probably not going to let anybody else work on it, maybe ever. But for the time being, it's okay to change the oil filter after you change the oil. And that's, that's how. Uh, <laughs> um, nope. Thumbs up.